Welcome to this tutorial in Oaks Announcements. We'll be covering adding and deleting announcements in Oaks. By the end of this tutorial, you should be able to create an announcement using the Announcements News Item Tool. You'll be able to create a link to an outside website within an announcement, and you'll be able to delete an announcement. I'm going to begin in my Oaks class, and you'll notice I've never created an announcement here before. So I'll click on this hyperlink, create a news item. The first time you make an announcement, you see this text. Click and you'll see you need to add a headline and then your content. There are asterisks by both of these. That means that you need to fill them both out. As you scroll down, you'll see that you can adjust the availability. I can choose to show my announcement now and I always show the start date or I can adjust when my announcement pops up and when it ends. I can also attach files, record audio, or attach existing conditions. Once I publish, I see my quiz reminder here. I see my start date and then it's published. If I go to my course home, here it is. Now notice, that hyperlink went away. So if I want to create another announcement, I simply choose this drop down menu, go to new announcements news item, and I can work from there. Let's say that I want to add a new announcement and I want to link to an outside website. All I need to do is go to new announcements. I type in my headline. And then I can do one of two things. I can simply cut and paste the URL here. That creates an automatic hyperlink. Or I can create a hyperlink through the announcements tool. So I highlight the text that I want to hyperlink. I click the chain. I scroll down to URL and I cut and paste that continuity website that I want to link to. The title go here will automatically become that hyperlink. I insert and I can publish. So notice I can go to my course home and I can get there this way. Or I can get there this way and that hyperlink will actually bounce us to a new tab that's open. If I want to delete my announcements, I can easily go to my announcements news tool where I can click them all and delete them both or delete them one at a time. Now watch what happens if I delete the quiz reminder go back to the course home and now this announcement is left. Let's say that I want to delete this too. If I X this out, it's gone for the students, but it's not yet gone for me. This has just been dismissed. So I go back to the announcement tool, see how it says dismissed. If I want to totally get rid of it, I click it and I delete it.